Um, I hope you can see me. Let me make sure I got everything set up right. I think I do. Um, yeah, should be good to go. Let me know if you can see me when you can see me in the chat. And is the chat even working? Hello, hello. Are we live? What is going on? Okay, cool. What's going on, everybody? Hell of a hell of a day, right? I was at work all day. Then went shopping. That was uh that was fun. Right on. So anyways, um, what I'm looking at here, this is this long-term trend line. As you guys can see, um, this is the trend line I've had here forever. We did wick through that. So in my opinion, that is broken. I do see us coming down to test this trend line here around the 400, right around the $400 range. Um, if that breaks, then we are in serious trouble, but I think we're most likely gonna get a bounce there, possibly all the way down to this 40, 4,200 was my other target. If you guys seen on t Twitter, I put this on 8.30 this morning. If 5,300 breaks, we are headed for, or headed to 43 in my opinion, so 42, 43. Um, that is a possibility. Um, same trend line here. Let me get, let me clear this up a little bit. I crossed that out on the video this morning and I will get into the chat here in a second guys. So bear with me for one minute. Clean this crap up. All right. So yeah, it does look like we're going to most likely come down and hit this, uh, right around the $4,400 range. Let me clean some of this up. Like I said, I'll be in the chat. What's up guys? <clears throat> Amit, DSV, Novsky, what's up? David Rice, Anthony, what's happening? DJ Blind Faith, everyone needs to stop selling. Uh, buy When It Bleeds, Jet Set. Raid. Savvy, what the hell's going on? Oh, forget TA, it's a global disaster. Nah, I think TA's still working, guys. Um, the trend line here, and if you guys remember i was pulling up gold there's the ethereum i think we could drop down to 80 that would be this trend line again if these trend lines break guys then we're most likely in some serious trouble um ethereum could if it breaks that 80 could be coming all the way back down to around the 35 dollar range and i do this i do believe this could be the beginning of the death to altcoins i know a lot of you guys don't believe that and don't want to hear that but i do believe it could be um, Litecoin, I see in between 20 and 22. Uh, 20 would be retesting this trend line here. So definitely possible. <clears throat> Still a believer? Hell yeah, I'm a believer, man. Um, but anyways, if you guys know, or if you guys have been paying attention, I was watching the Dow Jones and I had pulled this chart up. I showed it to the Discord group. Um, these are my old trend lines. And if you look, Sonar one just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, my man. All right, so the measured move from the break out of this channel. Um, we I had the first at 0 .786 at 23,554. That's where we stopped yesterday, and I said if that broke, we're headed down. Looks like our next stop here, guys, is around the 16.9. That's a measured move off of this rising channel here so it also is confluent with old support back here so keep in mind we're looking for that 17,000 it's definitely a possibility guys no guarantee we may even come back up test the 23.3 before coming down in my opinion remember this is my opinion not yours <coughs> smell the blood in the street <laughs> crypto is hemorrhaging trees what's up phil c Stephen Pullman, Michael Merbrat. Terrible day for the hodlers. Paper balance sheet, right on. 
What happened? Did Trump go live again? <laughs> hey, Javon. Yo, guys, never traded before. Any tips on how to start? Be extremely careful. Learn how to do some TA before you start trading, for sure. Um, let's go. Like I said, Litecoin looks like it might hit 20. Um, Bitcoin's getting a nice little bounce here. And there is some major... Well, nope, there isn't anymore. There was divergence. No divergence. What's up, Adam? Juan said he's got 5,000 on standby. Walt Moore, 4,800 Bitcoin. Damn. What's up? Thank you. Walt Moore, I am live. In case you guys didn't know. But yeah, looking for a bounce here. Maybe... Somewhere in this range, 4450 maybe even. Between 44 and 4400. But like I said, I I do have I still do well, let me go. I don't like this chart. I like this one. Um I I still think it is possible that we go down to the 42. I will put a target down there, but as of right now, I am liking the 4400. Shrink this down a little bit that over here target so uh I don't know if it was anybody in here but a lot of people were saying I was spreading FUD saying that Bitcoin could go to 53 and look at us um, a lot of pissed off people <clears throat> Davy, do you think this has was head fund manager selling off to pay some bills? No, I don't. Phil C, thanks for the tip, brother. Thanks to you, I have more buying power. Thanks for the video, Savvy. Huge help. Well, thank you for the tip, brother. I appreciate it, and I'm glad I was able to help. I'll put this down. Good looking out, man. I appreciate it. Do you think Chainlink is one of those altcoins that will die? I th Yes. I think 99% of them will die. There might be a few that stick around, but I honestly think this could be could be the beginning of the end for them, guys. Go zombie apocalypse. <laughs> will the having save us? I think I think we'll recover, guys. Crypto GVW D. Let's get this Bitcoin. Peter Pie Morgan looks like it might want to consolidate here around 48. Yeah, it may. It may consolidate here a little bit. The longer it consolidates, um, the further down we could go on this trend line here. So let's put it right here for now. Let me shorten this one up. So yeah, depending on where we hit this trend line, I think we sh could get good support off of that. Obviously, it's been a nice support line. So that's that's where I'm looking for support as of now, guys. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Definitely. Not gonna lie, I wish you were wrong about 4300. Still, you've been spot on. Thanks, Rooster. You think Litecoin will die? I do not think Litecoin will die. And the reason I don't think Litecoin will die because Litecoin is a uh, it's a test net for Bitcoin. They test everything on Litecoin before Bitcoin. So that gives Litecoin a shitload of value, in my opinion. <clears throat> Daniel, Savvy, do you think it was bottom at 43 or 44? Well, we haven't hit there yet. Um, I do believe... I do believe between 42 and 44 is a good possibility that that will be our bottom. What's up, way old Pasha? BTC have taken support. How about Ethereum? Haven't heard your thoughts on it. Max, um, I think Ethereum is the scam train. Um, honestly, uh, I hate to say that, but I really do. I think uh, 
I think Ethereum is a scam train, and it comes up with new scams, uh, DApps, ICOs. Now it's DeFi, and then all the other scams jump on and start doing the same thing. It happens every time. Ethereum cannot find its use case, and I don't think DeFi is going to work either. <clears throat> Proud and real. Thanks, man. Greetings from Belgium. I appreciate the tip, brother. Much appreciated. Is this tip thing staying up there for a long time? What the hell is going on with that? Let me redo my alert box. There we go. All right, I'm back. I had to try to figure out what the hell is going on with that. Shit gets confusing, man. There's a lot of shit going on here. Damn it. All right. So anyways, this is what I am looking at. Bro, how's the strength for support at 84? 84? 84 is gone, man. 44? Um, it should be pretty good. Like I said, that's a that's a long-term trend line I have here. You you guys know the trend lines if you watch my channel that we've been watching. Those are the ones I cloned up here and said that would be our support and resistance up and down, which it was. That is a pretty damn important trend line right here. If that breaks, man, I, it could get extremely ugly. Let's go to the daily chart and look at where we could be headed. I mean, it's possible to go to 1400 if this was to break the 4243. Um, if you know, we got the double bottom at 3100. Which is a possibility also. Um, what would that look like? That's a possibility. But as of right now, I am looking at the 42 to 4300 range. For a possible bottom. <clears throat> thoughts on XRP? <laughs> Same thoughts on all the other crap. XRP is a scam coin too, man. All them guys did was they printed their own money. Um, same thing with Ethereum. Printed their own money. I would love for a $1,400 Bitcoin. <clears throat> What's up, Edward? Nice to see you, brother. Emma Love. Hi, Savvy. What's your thoughts on Digibyte? Will that survive or die? Um, honestly, guys, I don't think much is really going to survive. But I could be dead wrong. This Remember, this is just my opinion. You asked for my opinion, I can give it to you. Yeah. Take it easy. Um, but yeah, Ethereum. Um, it's next trend lines right here around 80. Um, the low here is 4249. Like I said, wouldn't surprise me if they all died. Monero too, man. Kevin Wild, what happened, man? It came down, man. Came down and everybody was bitching at me saying the 5300 wasn't possible. Look at us now. The cryptos do that half and are not mined will fail eventually. The cryptos that were pre-mined are scams. Remember that. <clears throat> what bottom do you expect for Litecoin? Um, Litecoin could hit 20. That is the next trend line here off of here. So I'm looking for around the $20 range for Litecoin, but let's go into the daily real quick and look for support and resistance. Litecoin could go all the way back down to the $7, $8 range to before the pump here. But let's, like I said, as of right now, I'm looking for around the $20 range, actually 22, between 20 and 22, maybe a double bottom here. And if that does double bottom and start going up from there, that'll be a clue for Bitcoin that Bitcoin may bottom out, you know, further down to double bottom, which would be that 30, what, 32, 31, 3200. But guys, as of right now, like I said, I'm looking 
at 41 or the 42 dollar to or 4200 to uh 4400 that's what i'm looking at right now <clears throat> we've only have maybe 10 to 15 cryptos alive three years from now probably if that probably like i said if that $20 like like this DeFi thing that everybody thinks Ethereum's got. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it real quick. You um, you make your own decision. This is just my thoughts. I am not. Um, I can't see the future. But Ethereum is, like I said, I think it's the scam train. And now it's trying the DeFi thing. Do you, Don't you think even if Bitcoin did work, which I do believe it will, the government attaches itself to it to use it as a currency and they'll put other currencies under it. Bitcoin will be like a store of value, like digital gold. They're not going to use Ethereum's DeFi. The government will come up with their own. Ethereum will be washed up, gone. Um, Ethereum, the other reason I think it's a scam, um, you can, they want you to uh, stake it. You can stake it, but you need to buy, what is it, 31 or 32? That's just another scam to get you to buy more to pump the price so they can dump them on you, man. I'm done with that now. <clears throat> no way will the government use Bitcoin. We'll see, Shavar. I think the government's behind Bitcoin. If you want to get down and dirty and gritty on it. It's perfect. It's a perfect form of money, especially for them because it can be traced. The government won't. They'll start their own Bitcoin. They're not going to start their own Bitcoin. This already has strength. It's the longest blockchain, strongest. They're not going to start a fresh one. <laughs> Are you serious? They made this. We're all about to find out. Probably within the next few years. <laughs> Monero won't survive because it is... Too much privacy. They're not going to want that around. Bitcoin is not a test. Bitcoin was sent out to get it working properly. And they sent it out. Look at how Bitcoin came out. It came out as, um, you know, it is decentralized, but it came out as, you know, um, anonymous. It's not anonymous. It's not anonymous at all. No, if no one's going to dump it and back off uh, diversified, why would they dump it and back off? I mean, it's still a great form of money. That's what it's about. It can't be lied. It can't be faked. It can't be counterfeited. What you have is what you have. Do you think miners will pull out if price drops too far because it would no longer be profitable? I'm sure the smaller miners will, but the bigger miners, I think it'll take a lot to get them to shut down. Ryan said, buy and go to sleep for a few years. Great opportunity to buy now. What's the plan for Savvy for Bitcoin 3K? Um, right now, looking at 4200 to 4400 depending on where it hits this trend line here. And if we look at what we got here, we could come all the way down and test this bottom. RSI still got room to go, guys. <laughs> Sally, what's up, man? I'm just curious what your thoughts on that because I know a lot of people don't want the government in it. Um, there's four wallets. What I think it's four. Correct me if I'm wrong in here, but there's four wallets with a million or more Bitcoin on them. If you don't think that that is going to be like government and banks, it's, it's that's what I see. I don't know. I could be dead wrong, but that's the way I'm looking at it. Savvy, what about stock markets? How low can they go? Like I said, my next, I'm looking at the Dow and my, my next target for the Dow is around, se around 17,000. 16.9 to 17,000. 
Um, like I said, I'm sure we'll get a dead cat bounce, a relief bounce and stuff before we go down that far. You know, this could be a couple months down the road. But yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at there. Oh, crypt crypto exchanges manipulation. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not even going to go there. Savvy, how do you see Bitcoin in two weeks time? I don't like to judge time, Adam, at all. Um, just don't love, like to judge time. Like, just like, you know, I had the targets for Bitcoin for a while now, right? But you can't put a time frame on that. That's crazy. You <laughs> can't put a time frame on it. The government fighting back, maybe reset 3,500 BTC. Maybe. If the government was in, the IRS would have a formula on taxing it years ago. Not just the last couple of years. Sherry, they got a formula. Trust that. <clears throat> it is pseudo-anonymous. Hello, can the RSI go? Um, the RSI can can go all the way. I've seen it go to, I think, like three or four is the lowest I've seen it go. But, but it can stay down there and it can move up. And that's why people that say they... They they buy in the oversold and they they sell in the or the, yeah they sell in the overbought. That's ridiculous because it can come down here. The RSI can move back up while the price is just going sideways and it can reset itself and come back down, which be hidden bullish or yeah hidden bearish divergence and then come back down. The RSI can be going up, but the price just going sideways. So anybody that's telling you that crap, don't listen to it. No problem, Adam. Giorgio said, 10 more days of trouble. Amen, Farag. Do you think the reason for that quick massive fall is because the world panic now and not really following TA? Um, I still believe it'll follow TA. Like I, I've said it before, you know, show me the charts, I'll tell you the news and, and you can see this stuff coming. Savvy, do you know why Prime XBT isn't available in the U.S. even though you pretty much can sign up if you want to? Yeah, a lot of people use it. Um, high chance miners are pulling out. Mm, possibly. We'll see. But yeah, TA still works. Watch, guys. This will all line up and all work out. It, it just will. Hopefully the warmer weather helps taking down the coronavirus oh, I shouldn't have said that people are getting in trouble for that Milton Anderson welcome to the channel crypto doesn't always follow TA they owe democrats De democracy yes it does always follow TA if you do the TA correctly how's it going savvy how about Litecoin uh, we just talked about Litecoin. Let's go back over. See, Litecoin could come down to around between 20 and 22 range. I would look for a bounce, if not before then. Um, Ethereum, 80. If 80 breaks, 42. <clears throat> We're going down again, guys. What up, Savvy? I doubled my Bitcoin today. Right on, Privateer Solutions. Glad to hear that, brother. Hold on one second, guys. All right. Sorry about that. Looks like the Matic dump. Kevin Wilde said this could be the end, actually. Yeah, I see us at least coming down to the 42, 43, though. No more Elliott Wave for BTC. I don't use Elliott Wave. Um, like I said, that's how I started, but I, I don't like Elliott Wave. I don't trust Elliott Wave. Ask the Elliott Wave guys what this is. Um, I like my style TA. Eth will come under 30 and Litecoin under 5. It's possible. It's possible. Best crypto for stability, Bitcoin. Your music has siren sounds, kind of alarming. <laughs> it's keeping you guys alert, man. 
Oh, wow. So, looks like we're headed down to the 44. Let's see if we get a bounce there, guys. And hold on just one second. Are we going to get a bounce at the 44? Oh, maybe before? No. Nope. See if that trend line holds up there, guys. <coughs> Bitcoin broke, brother. Godspeed. Nah, Bitcoin won't die. Nah, Bitcoin ain't gonna die. Wow, this thing could go to zero today, John Yo said. I highly, it could never go to zero. That's impossible. Can't pass up these prices, said Bitcoin broke. Um, psychedelic Valentine, Infinity Love Stone, hell of a name. It's one thing if Bitcoin goes to 2000, it's another thing entirely if we stay below 3K for more than six months. Why is Bitcoin so low? Mm, in case you haven't turned on the news, there's a lot of shit going on, man. I think I have Wuhan. As long as the virus that shall not be named is around, we're heading very low. If Bitcoin Network stops operating, it wouldn't be worth money. Uh, Bitcoin Network's not going to stop operating. Explain how that could stop operating, DAO. It, obviously, you don't understand bl blockchain, right? Dr. Kreis, honestly, Savvy, you are one of the rarest people who said it's going down from the beginning. Thanks, man. <clears throat> the network needs money and money needs a network. Alrighty, buddy. Yeah, see, you don't understand the mining process either. Uh-oh, here we go. Are we going to make the 44? How is Ethereum doing? Ethereum is getting close to 80. Litecoin's getting close to its 20. Let's see if all these targets hold up. There's the 44. And is it going to hold? That is the question. Um, we'll find out shortly here. Make sure you smash the likes, guys, if you're in here. I'd greatly appreciate that. Second. Oh, damn it. Is it going to bounce here? <clears throat> Very good possibility. What is going on? This crap. Apologize, guys. Hold on one second. It does look like we're going to get that bounce. <clears throat> Can it hold up the 4416? Uh, hold on again. I'm trying to do something real quick, guys. Um, what the hell is going on here? <clears throat> Still holding up on here, but are we going to drop through? Let's just see what happens. We did hit that trend line and it is holding as of right now. Actually, I had it a little up, so let me put it down just a little bit. We did hit that trend line perfectly. Is that wild? And they say TA don't work. But if it does break, we'll go. It'll probably break pretty hard if it does break that. So keep in mind, we do have the 42 also down there. We go back over to this chart right there. 
Look at that. Right on the line, guys. Is that amazing or what? <clears throat> HM Polish, Hey Savvy, next target, 3062 after that, 136. Hmm. Just hit the like and added more. Can you make it bounce? <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> I'm getting all kinds of texts and stuff. Bitcoin broke. Savvy's TA is fire. Would you believe in a $1,100 Bitcoin? I believe it's possible. I mean, anything's possible, man. J Kick said, I feel like I'm dreaming. Dirk C39 said, dude, your TEA is amazing and it just blows my mind how it's paying on. <laughs> Thanks, man. How long do you think it takes until 10K? Uh, we might not. I mean, we could see 10K by the end of the year. Let's see how all this pans out. Let me do some fixing up here. <clears throat> Scott Warnsnap, 2 a.m. watching your channel and living the future's history books. We are watching history, guys. There is no doubt about it. History is being made. Litecoin's on its way down to that 20 to 22. Let's see if this 44 holds. If not, like I said, we are looking at that target of 42 being possible. So. <clears throat> Tried to warn people to stay away from it. It's a scam. I will stay away from what, man? Five hundred and sixty watching, only one hundred and twenty-four likes. Guys, take one second out and hit the damn like button. Is it that hard? Still in the short? No, I'm not in short jet. I actually just put in a long to see if this holds here. <clears throat> Thanks, Scott. Many people are saying we are history. <laughs> what are your positions right now? I My position right now is just, I just put along in when we hit right here. I just put, that's what I was doing on my phone. <clears throat> what do you mean by hold at 44? If it holds here, if it doesn't break this, this is the trend line that I've been watching and actually this trend line my yeah I'm on the four hour I don't know why the trend line has moved a little bit good enough but we did hit that dead on and it is given support but you know there's a lot of people that are watching that trend line so that's what will hold it as support for a little while if it does break it could get ugly in there um, <clears throat> we'll see though. <clears throat> it's trying to bounce. This is the biggest one day drop in Bitcoin history. Um, is it the biggest one day percentage wise though? I don't believe it is percentage wise let's pull that up and see price range let's see where did it start so about right here it is a 43 percent drop 40 percent drop right in there that could have been it guys let's see if this trend line holds <clears throat> i'm getting a nice bounce a really nice bounce Yes, Brian, I am. Savvy, can you do a TA chart for SPX? Uh, not right now, bud. Maybe some other time I might start doing some stuff like that. But as of right now, no. Ricardo at 43, my God. Megan Moros, will you consider fundamentals changed when you discover government organization is Nakamoto? Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll change. I'm sure if people realize that that's what it's going to, they will be buying more for sure. 
At least it answers the question, how does BTC perform against the stock market? But for now, sure. What's up, Lomas Begster? Ethereum. Um, we looked at Ethereum. I'm looking at the $80 range for Ethereum. If that doesn't hold, 42. Litecoin, $20 range. 20 to 22 dollar range is what I'm looking for for Litecoin. I will just put a. Let me do this real quick. Put that in there, and we'll do the same for Litecoin. Well, our big or Ethereum. We know what Ethereum is looking like. So, <clears throat> does it matter how much you buy? What do you mean? Does it matter how much you buy? Dirksy said, I keep dollar cost averaging as this goes down. Blah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Did I sell or just hold on my crypto? That's up to you, per Terminal. Um, it depends on you and your goals, man. Nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody can make your decisions but you, man. $20 Litecoin is destiny, to be honest. Here comes 3000 This was bound to happen. Uh, what happens to Bitcoin when the world recession starts getting thrown around? Or the word? Wesley Blount. Welcome to the channel. We just got a new subscriber, guys. Say hello. Uh, best place to buy, buy into crypto. Um, depends on where you're at. Please XRP and TRX. XRP is just ugly, man. This is just trading bots, panic selling. DAO has got, uh, I don't, I think you're, you got a lot wrong there, bud. Oh, God. And let me see. Another subscriber. Mm. What do I do here? There we go. <clears throat> I remember calls. 46, no, it's 46, all bases cover. Oh, we got... You guys are idiot trolls that obviously don't understand markets. So, yeah. Um, Not convinced by this bounce. Yeah, it wasn't a very hard bounce yet, but it's... Nevertheless, it is a bounce. Savvy, how many percent we have on Bitfinex? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. BTC. Long. Um, first. Short. Let's see what we got here. Where is it at? Blockchain whispers. 63% <clears throat> longs. Uh, Marcio, just subscribe. 63% longs on Bitfinex, according to this. Uh, longs are really low in Binance and BitMEX right now, so uh, this bounce is starting to look a little bit better, guys. We'll see if it holds up. It'll be nice. Um, it's trying. Shorts are pumping. Well, at least the CME gaps got filled, right? <laughs> Buy as much as you can right now. Great Discord. Thanks, Christian. Yeah, you guys. We have a free Discord group. So there's a description to it below. Um, also, if you guys want to support the channel, if you like the TA, appreciate it. Check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. She has tons of cool crap on there, crypto stuff. She can put any crypto you want. It doesn't have to be what you see on the stuff. Um, the, tons of different stuff. Coffee mugs, hats, t-shirts, uh, these aluminum signs here. Uh, she also has keychains, long sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, like this hoodie. Um, she can put anything you want, even family pictures or whatnot, you guys. But that's a good way to help support the channel, and I really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. Give me a good take, Savvy. Well, we got, we had this, we were looking at this when I first turned it on. We put this target here. We did hit it and are getting a bounce. Let's see if, you know, it continues to bounce or not. Oh my God. You know what, trolls? You're gonna have to get out of here, man. Liquidity is up.
Thank you for selling your coins to me half off. <clears throat> you know, trolls are hilarious. They they whine, uh, like they whined and said I was fudding because I said we could go to 5,300, possibly lower. And then when we go lower, then they say, ah, you said we were gonna stop at 53. People are just, I mean, if they could watch themselves and see how foolish and idiotic they look, it would be wonderful. Any custom green candles on there? What do you mean? Rolls are BS, right? They're just, I mean, they're losers. That's what they are. They're losers looking for attention and they're usually pretty messed up in the head and they gotta be negative. Base Quattro, welcome to the channel, my friend. What's your leverage on the long 4416 savvy? I am 50, I don't recommend this. I am 50X leverage, I'm up 153% right now. <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, I will post it in the Discord so you know I'm not bullshitting. Um, hold on a minute. If you belong to the Discord, I'm going to throw it in there real quick. So, I really do trade. I know a lot of people say the YouTubers don't trade. I trade. Um, so, yeah. Let me get it in the Discord. I'll throw it in the open discussion. You guys are in there you can verify it in this chat what's up dot do I don't know how to say your name I probably just murdered it I apologize <clears throat> do you believe now is the best time to buy in for Bitcoin depends on what you it depends on you and your your circumstance and your goals and everything else Martin Lexus, subscribe to the channel. Welcome, brother. <clears throat> Close call, right? All right. Anyways. Oh, let's see what else is going on. Very nice. What do you think happens after this situation is over? I almost said the... Uh, Word you cannot say. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It depends on what the what the real thing going on behind it is. What would you do, Savvy? Um, I I I'm a believer of Bitcoin. I would buy now. I think it's a good price now, even if it goes lower. You think Ethereum will vanish soon? I think Ethereum will vanish eventually, yeah. When people wake up to it. The underground. Thanks, man. Took a look at BitMEX. The liquidation price is 4% above the market. Huge pump on all markets soon, said Green Gems. Tell us why you think will happen during the halving in terms of price. Um, I don't know. I think maybe after the halving, we might have, you know, a small uptrend before, you know, we may not see the big breakout till 2021, maybe. I am Mark Andrews said Eth is a boo boo scam coin. I agree. <laughs> they have a lot of money and they have paid a lot of people to talk them up. So, signing of remember 10 more days of pain. Will it go back up, you think? Bitcoin? I think Bitcoin will eventually go back up. Yeah. I'm 186% up. Yeah, guys, make sure you get your crypto off the exchanges. I have a couple links to hard wallets down below, too. I have Ledger and Elipale. I like them both and use them both. And uh, the exchange links down below, if you guys are interested in trading, I have a Bybit link down there, a Prime XBT link, 
Um, if you use the savvy or the pr promo code in Prime XBT, savvy50, you get a 50% bonus on whatever you deposit. You, like, say you deposit $1,000, they'll put an extra 500 in. But you can't take that 500 out, but you can trade with it and keep the gains. Also, um, Crypto Savvy 25 is a promo code that gets you 25% off fees for the rest of this month. So if you're interested in trading um, or you you know how to trade and want to get on there, that's a you know pretty good deal. Also, I've been doing a, a promo code every day. Like um, for today's video, whoever commented on my video earlier today, tomorrow, I'll pick a random comment and I'll give them a promo code to put a free hundred bucks on their account. They don't have to make a deposit or nothing. It puts a hundred bucks on their Prime XBT account and they get to see if they're, they like trading. <clears throat> Is Bitcoin cash and Litecoin okay to buy? I do not like Bitcoin cash or Bitcoin. Any Bitcoin SV, none of that crap. It competes with Bitcoin. I don't think anything competing with Bitcoin is going to do good at all. Litecoin does not compete with Bitcoin. Wayne said, I deposited 1K on my Bybit and never got promo. I used your link. 1K on Bybit? I, that's not where the promos are used. My promo codes are on Prime XBT. Bybit just gives you the... You, you do what whatever they say to get their 80 bucks or whatever. Ryan just subscribed to the channel. Welcome, Ryan. Is Coinbase good? Uh, depends on what you're using it for. What about Tether, bro? Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Tether. I know a lot of people are calling it a scam and whatnot, but actually the same people that are behind Bitcoin that I was talking about earlier could be behind Tether. Savvy, what do you think to put some gold and silver in a portfolio? Yeah, man, it never hurts to put the metals in there. It's good to be diversified, right? <laughs> Litecoin is the best secondary to BTC, if you ask me my opinion, though. that I believe the same. I am Mark Andrew. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um... Let's see if this holds. If not, like I said, be looking at 42. If 42 don't hold, we could be looking for a double bottom or worse. But as of right now, I'm going to stick with this. That hit live for anyone that wasn't here when it did. I had this target here before then. And all it is is this simple trend line here. And we hit it and are getting a nice bounce. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the TA, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And make sure I do daily updates every morning, guys. So make sure your bell's ticked and you check it out. Um, I try to keep up with the market daily and try to help you keep up with it daily. So thanks a lot, guys. I didn't want to stay on too long. I just want to jump on and show you what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking with Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum as of right now. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. So Lawrence, welcome to the channel. We just had another sub. Blake subbed. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, Wolfgang said a magical line appeared. No, magical line didn't appear, dude. That line's been here. Go back, watch my videos forever. I've been there, dude. My my TA works. I'm not the other guys that just copy off each other and talk bullshit and act like they know something. I my TA works. It's proof in the videos. Go back and watch them. Anyways, thanks a lot. You guys rock. I'm out. I appreciate everything. And uh, see ya.